Welcome to Farm RPG. Belogan here. In this video, we're going to talk about the basics of Farm RPG and how to play the game. I've been playing this for about a month on this account, so I've made quite a bit of progress in your four core skills of farming, fishing, crafting, and exploring. Let's talk about all of these briefly. When you first start the game, crafting will not be enabled for you. You have to build locations and uh, different uh, types of facilities on your farm to unlock a lot of uh, the functionality of your farm. One of those is the workshop. So until you unlock the workshop by buying it with silver, you'll only be able to do exploring and fishing and farming. Um, the other areas you can unlock give all kinds of different things that you can do on your farm. Uh, farm pond is a place where you can fish. Worm habitat grows bait for you so you don't have to buy it. Workshops where you do crafting, chicken coop gives you lots of lovely chickens that you can give names and pet to give experience and they will lay more eggs every day as you do so that you can sell for money. Uh, other buildings are an orchard that grows trees you can use, um, the trout farm that produces fish for you, cow pastures, a forest, a place to explore, uh, vineyard for growing grapes, a wine cellar for stashing that wine you can make out of grapes that will grow in value over time and a sawmill that produces planks. Um, most of these buildings, you're not gonna see a huge return on your investment in these, not for a very long time. And uh, compared to other ways to grow money, they aren't necessarily the best, but you do get farm experience for every single one of these things that you build, not upgrades in them afterwards. Um, there's also achievements for building these that give you gold, which is the, cur the premium currency in this game. You can spend real money to get, but you can use this to unlock some nifty perks at the town. Uh, or to grow the size of your inventory stash or the size of your stamina pool for exploring. When you explore, you're going to have multiple areas. Okay, when I click on a skill here, it shows the progress path for that skill. So exploring is my lowest level skill. It shows how much experience you have, how much you need to the next level, all the way up to level 99 at 2 billion experience. So if you are familiar with the game Titan Conquest, this follows that same experience curve. So to do both exploring and fishing, you hit explore area. Your fishing areas are up at the top. You start off with just small pond and each of these unlock as you go up in level. So Emerald Beach, for example, locks at fishing level 40, Vast Ocean at fishing level 50. And each new area has new fish in it that sell for more and more silver. Exploration, you start with the small cave. Um, the forest is opened when you buy it and then so forth it opens up with the mountain bannon being at level 50. And the way you explore is you just click on a region and it tells you how much stamina you have. I have 84 and you start exploring and you can start finding things. So this area has coal. It also has iron bars in it. It will have stone uh, and a few other goodies. Every time you explore, you get a basic about 125 experience and then you also get experience for finding these items. So that is exploration. Now, quick thing, in the town, there is a location called the museum where you can look up information on any specific item. So any item I click on, like my cabbage, it'll tell me how much it sells for, how much experience it's worth uh, relative to its skill. So for crops, it's by planting them. For fishing, it is by catching those fish. Items are by finding them. And it will tell you what kind of things you can craft from them. So like iron, I click on, it shows me uh, the ingredients to craft buckets, sturdy box, wooden barrels, and everything else that iron can craft. But up at the very top, you have your achievements. You have a list of all craftable items here, even if you don't have them unlocked in the museum yet. But you also have this view location information where you can come and look at any location you have unlocked and see what you can potentially find in that location. Farming. To farm, you come to your farm and you're gonna have initially just a couple of plots here unlocked, a single row, and it costs a certain amount of silver to unlock further plots. So this last one I locked was 100 million server if I come all silver. If I come all the way to the bottom, it is now uh, 1 billion silver, or basically halfway to level 99 uh, to unlock the next row of crops. These extra buttons here, harvest all crops, sell all crops, uh, plant seeds, these are quality of life perks that you can buy from gold in town. And when you click on a region, it'll tell you how much time it has left to grow. So this wheat's got three hours and 15 minutes and 36 seconds left to grow. Now, before you can plot anything, you have to, or plant, you have to buy seeds and you do that in town. 
at the country store. And the country store is where you buy all of your seeds and a few basic crafting supplies. You can buy nails here, iron here, and fishing bait. These seeds unlock as you go up higher in level. They take longer to grow and they have a greater return on their profits for the seeds. I'll do another video digging into crops and what perks help those the most and uh, the general profit and experience you can get from these. But typically you start with peppers. They harvest every minute so you can keep pretty busy every minute going and planting new rows of peppers, selling for profit, buying more seeds. Additionally, in town you have the farmer's market. This is where you come and sell anything that you have caught. So I've got 284 fish to sell still right now. Um, we'll do that at some point. I still have a fair amount of bait, but then I've got other things that I have gathered and collected over time that I will use in crafting or sell off uh, for silver. Um, other areas of this uh, town you can explore on your own. They give a quick description of what they do. The bank is very useful. You deposit your silver here so it grows every day. Uh, fishing charters, expositions, and so forth. Most of this information you can also find out in the wiki, which is in the library here. And it'll give basic information on different aspects of the game. We'll dig more into some of these in, in other specific videos. Really quick, I want to show crafting and then fishing. So once you've unlocked your crafting table, you'll get this My Workshop. You can access this from home or from your farm. And you will get a list of things you can craft available with the materials that you have. So I've got a number of wood here. I can start making some planks. As soon as I make six of these, I'll have some other things pop up. I now can make a sturdy box that requires six wood planks. Um, I still got barrels I can make. I can make a normal wooden box and I can make a wooden shield. You can always check on your inventory and see how many items you have. See if you need to buy more nails or silver or uh, iron rather to produce these items. Um, most of these you can sell for a little bit of profit. Some of them kind of come out equal. So like iron rings cost as much to make by the time you buy two iron if you have to buy it uh, and a stone, although you can find them exploring a lot of areas. Uh, but there are perks that make your things sell for more silver, and those are highly worth getting uh, later on. Speaking of perks, you unlock those right here under your skills. You get a perk every time you get a level in a skill, you get a perk point, and then you can pick which perks to buy. My recommendation would be to focus first on these negotiator perks. They make everything you sell sell for more silver, which means more profit. Um, energy drink is nice. It makes your stamina refill for exploring every minute instead of every other minute. Um, quick farming makes your crops grow faster. And then double prize makes it so that you get double the yield, a percent chance of that on all of your crops. We'll do another video digging into which of these perks helps the most and which is better. And there's lots of caveats and data to dig into that. Last, let's talk about fishing. To go fishing, you hit explore, you pick an area. Um, as they unlock by your level, once you hit, I think, small island, the pattern tends to speed up a little bit. But let's just come to small fishing pond. And basically what you do is wait for a fish shadow to pop up. When it does, you find the bar, you click on the dot, and you catch a fish. I'll tell you what your streak is. The streak is tied to an area. It shows you how much bait you have, how much fish you have to sell. In the low areas, this is pretty easy to do. If I come to vast ocean, uh, the speed and patterns here match kind of what you'll see everywhere else. And really the, the trick here is to leave your cursor in one spot and wait for the dot to show up. If we can get it there, I'm gonna miss that one. <laughs> it's, they can be hard to get. Uh, on desktop, this is a little bit hard. On mobile, it's a little bit easier because you can kind of hold your finger and, and tap. There's also a couple different patterns. Like this one doesn't come full width. There's one that goes all the way left and right. And there's one that goes to the middle and left and right and stops and all of them in between. So there's kind of three patterns you learn. Typically, you're going to hold your finger on one side, depending on which hand you're holding uh, your phone with or you're putting your cursor on, and you're just going to wait for the dot to show up there. You're going to click away and hit it. And that's all there is to catching fish. So those are your four basic skills that are currently in Farm RPG. Most of these have been fleshed out up to level 50. Crafting doesn't have a whole lot above level 20, I think, right now for it, although that will expand later on. Um, but as far as farming, fishing, and exploring, you have content all the way up to level 50 opened up for all of these currently as of uh, the 20th of May. And there's new content being added to this every day. Firestream is really great uh, at communicating with the community and updating the game. He's the sole developer of this game. So many of us know him from previous games such as uh, Halo Sphere, um, Destiny RPG, and Titan Conquest. And he is also the creator of Farm RPG. 
All right, that's it for this video. We will have many more to come digging into specific topics. Thanks for watching.